What's happening, everyone? It's your boy, Jose, a.k.a. the YC Geek, a.k.a. TNG, a.k.a. the guy who is going to go on record to say, uh, I am not as enthused as I was a few months back for the Lord of the Rings series that Amazon is putting out. In fact, I am getting more and more confused and worried. And honestly, I'm starting to get mad more than anything else. But see, I, I am a big Lord of the Rings fan. Like a lot of people, those novels was, uh, especially around my age, you know, you know, probably older people, those were my first real, you know, entry into the whole fantasy genre as a kid. They're what got me into fantasy. I read the Lord of the Rings novels before I even read The Hobbit. And, you know, just recently we celebrated the 20th anniversary of The Fellowship of the Ring. Which to me, to me, those movies are my favorite trilogies of all time. I love them. I love them. I got my extended editions. I have very, very, very fond memories of taking my mom and my dad to go see them and seeing them multiple times in the theaters. And I will always remember the cheers, the applause. And I'll always remember my first time watching each of those films, like where I was, what theater I was at in the sort. So I, it's a beloved property. And I know I'm nowhere near as big of a giga fan as other people are, you know? Um, and to me at first, I was excited that Amazon was taking on this property. I was. Because let's face it, they got the pockets, you know, they got, they got the money. So I, you know, here I am hoping that, um, you know, and, and when, when I say they got the pockets, the money, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're going to see, you know, these gorgeous set pieces. I remember when we first saw in fellowship of the ring, when we saw Rivendell for the first time, I was like, Oh, that still has stuck to me. And I'm like, man, we're going to get shit like that. And we're going to get like amazing costumes that will inspire countless cosplayers, um, you know, incredible fight scenes, especially because this is supposed to take place during the Second Age, the Age of uh, Numenor. You know, if, if they could build up throughout the seasons, not throughout the first, but if they could build out throughout the seasons to that incredible opening sequence for the Fellowship of the Ring, which I'll still say is the best opening of any fucking movie I've ever seen. Galadriel's monologue leading into the battle of mount doom holy shit uh to my so my expectations were up up here okay and on top of that on top of that amazon's for me had a good track record of adaptations i love the boys i still say the boys is light years above and beyond better than the comics ever fucking were ever and invincible whoo so good so good and i enjoyed the first half of the wheel of time it got generic as fuck and and you know disappointing towards the end of it uh, like towards the middle like right where i st i was like okay i'm like three four episodes in i'm thinking this, this is good so far uh and then it just started going <clears throat> but okay a hiccup here or there uh, but you know i'm like they could pull it together right right amazon you could fucking fix this you could do it right well stupid fucking me lo and behold we got a show that's coming out this year, this year, September. And we finally got a, 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 a fucking the title announcement last week. And that shit was garbage. It was whack. This was such a fucking weak version of Kate Blanchett's monologue. Are you fucking that? We already had it too. The fucking title. Oh, I, 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 I don't like the title. The Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, the duh, the duh, the, too many does. It doesn't roll off the tongue. It, it to me. And when the the land of Mordor, the way that they said it, it just sounded so fucking cheesy. So emphasized. I'm like, and then they just show, you know, tiny little rivulets of the gold and the water splashing over, and that's them showing them making the ring. I'm like, we've already fucking seen this. It's Amazon. Amazon. This show is coming out in less than eight months. You should be wowing us by now, okay? You need to have people hyped. Instead, you're putting out articles that you're making fucking original characters and you're casting for sex scenes. What the, f what the fuck? 
I don't want a garbage Game of Thrones knockoff. Lord of the Rings doesn't need that. Okay? I don't want you trying to shoehorn and put your own fucking spin on this with some original characters that are going to ruin the entire vision of what that was, of what that series, of, of what Lord of the Rings is. Okay? One of the key reasons I thought the fucking Hobbit trilogy, not the only reasons, because there's a million fucking reasons why that trilogy was fucking garbage, but one of the fucking key reasons I said from the get-go that the fucking Hobbit trilogy was trash and was going to fucking be doomed for failure was because they deviated from the story and they started adding in their own fanfic shit and i will go on record and this will be the hill i fucking die on that the hobbit trilogy especially because the first one was eh but it was it was still at least felt like it captured the essence of the of, of the book but the second one the moment that they fucking put in toriel for that awful love story and even more so when they said we're putting in Legolas because you could see the advertising for those movies suddenly became the elf Legolas returns. Oh, and Bilbo's here too. Instead of it being the fucking Hobbit Bilbo story. Like I, re I always remember going to AMC 34th street to watch the second film and seeing uh, 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 the AMC because when you go up the AMC you go up the escalator and then there's this uh, a level there and you gotta go up another escalator and they usually have a huge fucking advertisement for some movie and I remember going up that escalator and looking at my wife and pointing right at the fucking ad for it and it was a shot of Legolas and Toriel beside him and I'm like you don't see fucking Bilbo anywhere in that fucking ad you don't see any of the dwarves fuck that Stop adding garbage like that. Okay? And now, I read the synopsis. I did read the synopsis, and it does sound intriguing. And I know they have some experienced writers there from my favorite television show of all time, Breaking Bad. I will... If you have never watched Breaking Bad, I think Breaking Bad is the greatest television show of all time. Okay? And Better Call Saul, which is up there as well. They've got writers from there. But the problem is still that this is not going to be an adaptation. This is going to be Amazon Studios trying to fill in a lot of blanks with two very inexperienced showrunners who are going to try to take the greatest work of fiction of all time and be like, yeah, we could totally do this. And it's going to be like fucking Game of Thrones all over again. Not that Game of Thrones is the fucking greatest fiction ever. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it's, it, it's fucking reminding me of that. It's reminding me of that. And it's not like they have Christopher Tolkien, you know, R.I.P., to rely on anymore they can't reach out to him and ask his advice and with jeff bezos you know uh, if, if he has his fucking heart on for game of thrones uh, which i have no idea why you would want that shit tasting your mouth in your your so i look i know that game of thrones the first few seasons was amazing and it was a cultural phenomenon but look at where it is now it's a fucking wet fart you don't see anyone fucking hype for Dan or whatever the fucking new spinoff is. Fuck that. Dance of Dragons. I don't know what the fuck it's called. I don't even, I don't give a fuck. And no one gives a shit about Game of Thrones anymore. No one talks about it. The cons I go to, I don't see anybody fucking cosplaying it. Nobody gives a fuck. How do you take that and drop the ball? And you want that for your, your studio? You fucking, which, which by the way, Game of Thrones was trash way before season eight. Okay. That show declined in quality since season five and the character assassination of Sanders. Don't even get me fucking started on it. But with Amazon, they have this heart off of this idea of, oh, we need an edgy, sex-filled show. Ooh, ooh, cats for sex scenes. Cats for, what the fuck? This doesn't feel like the, the fucking direction for Lord of the Rings. Not at all. Not at all. I have no idea. An idea. And this is something, this is something that's eight, seven months away. I, I mean, January's almost done. And this is coming out the beginning of September. So we got February, March, April, May, June, July, August. You got seven fucking months because this comes out at the beginning of September. I think September 2nd, something like that. You should be, you should be fucking hyping people. You need to put out a trailer now, a fucking majestic trailer that will knock, not the fucking socks, the shoes, everything off. It needs to be wowing. Okay. Now, because I know I'm not the only one worried about this project, 
And if the buzz around this show is that it's going to be dead on arrival, you might as well throw that money down the fucking drain. What is it? How much are they putting into this? A half a billion? I can't even fucking remember. I think it's like 500 million fucking dollars into this. You might as well wipe that shit out. Burn that money. Amazon, get your shit together. Stop trying to be the next Game of Thrones. We don't need another. Nobody wants another fucking Game of Thrones. Okay? If I want nihilistic, dark fantasy, there's already a good show for that. I watched The Witcher. Not that season two has been the best, but I love season one. And season two has been good. It's been good. It's been enjoyable. So I'll watch that. Why the fuck would I ever want to watch this fuck? I don't want that for Lord of the Rings. It's supposed to be an inspiring, heroic fucking fantasy. Not some nihilistic drivel that you're going to fucking try to throw. I, I can't. I can't. Listen, I'm worried about it. I'm very concerned. I'm, obviously, I'm fucking mad about it. So, we, it's still seven months away. Without a damn trailer, Amazon. Not some stupid teaser. Not some damn title announcement. Put out a trailer. Let people see that there's something worth watching there. Because right now, it sounds like it's fucking garbage. And it's dead on arrival. Those are just my thoughts. My thoughts. I apologize for the rant, but I had to get it out. I had to get it out. If you it, it, Listen, if you agree with me, leave a comment, subscribe, like. If you don't agree with me, if you think I'm fucking just raging on it, I, leave it in the comments too. Let me know. Because I know I'm not the only one with this bad feeling. Like a like a just ominous uh, a, a dread coming at me now that I think of Lord of the Rings now. So tell me what your thoughts are. If you're excited, if you're not excited, if you agree, if you're fucking concerned like me, if you're just ready to be like, I'm not watching this, leave it in the comments. I'd love to engage with you. Please hit that like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Hit the subscribe button either way. Hit them both. Hit everything. Hit all the fucking buttons. All of them. And I will see you guys next time. Please, please, please take care of yourselves. Stay safe. This show better not fucking suck. Better not suck.